Audio panning is a technique we can use as editors to take control of the position of sounds in our videos. It's a way of controlling sound placement where we can choose where on the stereo field our audio sits. It's an area that spans from left to right. Our favourite movies, adverts and TV shows all use audio panning to immerse us in the action on screen, matching the movement of sound to what's happening visually. When watching with headphones or multiple speakers, it's like the audio comes alive, playing from the left or right, or moving from one side to the other, putting your viewer right in the centre of your story. Use this technique in your LumaFusion projects by double tapping the clip whose audio you want to pan and enter the audio editor. Tap pan on the control stack and use the slider to control the position of your sound. If you're wearing headphones, you'll hear the change in the audio as you move the slider from left to right. Move the slider all the way to the left and it'll solely play out of your left headphone. Move the slider to the right and it'll solely play out of your right headphone. Or achieve varying degrees of this by experimenting with different positions across the stereo field. Audio panning is a particularly powerful tool when used to move sound over time from one side to the other. Say if a car drives across the frame or a character is moving around as they talk. What did you say your name was again? I didn't. Well, we're about to see you ready. The Leaky Cauldron. That's in London. Did you hear that, Ern? The Leaky Cauldron. That's in London. The Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> hey, if you have the pea soup, make sure you eat it before it eats you. <laughs> This is where you're going to use keyframes while audio panning. So back in the audio editor, activate the keyframes at the bottom left to set your first keyframe on a selected frame of your clip. Set the audio panning to where you want it to be. Next, move your playhead to the frame you'd like to set your second audio position and then adjust the slider to match. Now between the two keyframes, the audio will pan from one side to the other. The speed at which will depend on the distance between your set values. Easing at this stage can also be used to help you match the position of the audio to the position of the action on screen, as you can use the ease sliders here to control the rate of change moving in and out of your keyframes. As with a lot of editing techniques, audio panning is really fun, but it's often at its most powerful when used in a subtle manner. You see, you don't need extreme movement for every sound in your video, as even the smallest of shifts can make your scene feel a lot more cinematic. <laughs>